Today, I'm going to get our home all decorated for spring. So join me as I put together simple floral arrangements and more, and later get a little spring tour of the finished looks. Spring is such a bright and refreshing time of year. I've been slowly setting out a few decorations around the house. But in the fireplace room, I'm going to start by decorating the parlor table. This arrangement will be simple and natural looking, starting with these branch stems. To make them look a little more full, I'm going to bend the branches outward slightly before setting the stem into the base. I have three of these large stems to add to this arrangement. When I saw them in the store, I just loved them because they looked very natural and had tiny leaves that gave them the look of new leaves just starting to appear on tree branches. I'm going to fluff the branches and blend them together slightly, but we'll do more after I add the next floral stems. These artificial cherry blossom stems I found at Home Goods are fairly realistic and weren't a bad price for the bundle of three stems. I'm just carefully removing the zip ties around them with a wire cutter. Each stem has two flower clusters that I'm bending outward to space them apart from each other and make the stems look more full. I purchased two bundles of these flowers, so I have a total of six stems to add. They are just so bright and cheery and go very well with the naturey branches. After adding all the floral stems, I'm just going to adjust the branches to blend the floral together. I am going for mostly a white and purple color scheme for my spring floral this year. So below, I'm going to make a small, simple arrangement of purple flowers. I'm just separating the stems from each other with the wire cutters before adding them to the vase. I thought these had such a rustic, wildflower look to them. To finish it, I'm just adding a few artificial eggs in the bottom. And to complete the vignette, I'm setting out a golden rabbit dish, book, and some antique Easter postcards. I'll show you the full finished look later in the video, but next I'm going to start decorating the fireplace. These vases had such a warm, rustic look to them, and they had similar coloring to the fireplace tile. <laughs> this is how I measure how long to leave the stems. After pruning the excess away, I'm simply going to place it in the vase and bend the branches to look nice and full. I thought these lilac blossoms were really pretty as well. And they definitely make me think of spring as the lilacs at my grandma's home are usually blooming when we visit her for our annual spring gardening trip. We'll usually pick a few branches to bring indoors as they not only look nice, but are very fragrant as well. I'm also going to add some of the purple wildflower stems before blending the floral together. So excited to finally use this antique clock on the mantle. Though it may seem the clock should be right in the center, I'm going to go for an asymmetrical look. I always have to shuffle the decorations around slightly until they feel balanced. I'll show the finished look later, but up next is the entryway. 
This adorable bird print is back. I feel like nothing says spring like birds. Below on the vintage desk, I'm slowly adding a few spring touches, including a floral arrangement, a vintage postcard box, and a fun antique shop find, a rabbit inkwell. Again, shuffling the decorations around to find balance. This scene isn't yet complete, neither will be the entry table. I usually bring in decorative items, place them, then swap them, and eventually everything finds their place. By the way, that Easter bucket is a DIY video that I'll have linked in the description below. So this isn't the finished look, and similarly on the table behind the couch, this rabbit decoration starts out here, but will later move into the kitchen window. I'm adding some antique Easter postcards to this photo holder. I love decorating with them and have a hard time choosing which ones to use each year, though I do have my favorites. And here the bunnies go in the kitchen window. Back in the living room though, I'm setting out these cute little decorations to complete the look on the tabletop. In the dining room, I'm going to add my green dishes to the built-in cabinet. These are my go-to spring and sometimes summer dishes. I've slowly collected them over the past 16 years from various places. Some came from a kitchen store, some from Goodwill, some from Home Goods, and a few from Portugal. I decided to leave the same rustic decorations in the cabinet that were there before, and I'm just blending the dishes in with them, shuffling items around as needed. As part of my spring cleaning routine, I usually clean all glass surfaces in the house. Some that I don't get to cleaning as often, like the cabinet doors, chandelier crystals, photo frame glass, things like that. Again, I'll show you all the finished scenes later, but now it's time to decorate the dining room table. I just fell in love with this floral arrangement I found at Home Goods. The colors are just beautiful, and it went with my chosen color scheme. Though I really liked it, I felt that it was missing something, so I'm just adding some of the purple flowers to overflow below, making the arrangement look more full and visually balanced, but also to tie in with the flowers in the other room. Then I'm going to set out these woven placemats and start setting the table with more of my green dishes. had this frog picture forever and just love it. After I get everything set out, I'll show you the finished look of this and all the other scenes I put together today.